Okay, in this simulation, students will be able to simulate the delay that occurs between a production of a sound and the arrival of the sound at their location. Students should be familiar with this phenomenon from watching fireworks or from thunder and lightning. This will take place at an Army testing range where students will be able to uh, change the distance between themselves and the explosion. They will then time how long it takes for the sound to arrive at their location. If they do multiple different distances and graph the relationship between distance and time, they'll be able to find the speed of sound. They can do this in three different climates, a warm climate, a hot climate, and a cold climate. So let me show you how this is going to work. When students click on the begin button, they will get a sample of the sound they are listening for. Okay, students will start out in a screen that will show them the location of the explosion and the location of uh, their observing area. So you'll notice that this one is starting out about 1.3 kilometers away from the student. The student can hit this move button and get a random location for the um, explosion. So we'll start at one of the closest possible distances, about 500 meters from the observing location. Students should measure the distance from the front edge of the explosion. Okay, once they're ready, they hit the start button. They will see their explosive. The closer it is to them, the easier it will be for them to see it. If they can't see it, it's not a big deal. They know its location. When they're ready to detonate, they just push down on this lever. When they do this, a timer will come on. <coughs> And as soon as they hear the explosion, they should hit the stop button. They will get a time in milliseconds. Students are encouraged to do multiple trials at the same distance. And then take an average of the time it took for the sound to arrive. Again, they can change the placement of the explosive. See, this time it's a little farther away. and the arrival time was a little bit longer. Again, students should take many different distances, plot out a graph, and based on the graph, determine the speed of sound. To change location, students just need to click on the location. It'll switch from the desert during the day, which is pretty hot, to the desert at sunset, which is much cooler, to an area where it is much colder. Hopefully students will be able to get three different speeds of sounds at these three different locations.